episode three of girly chit chat y'all so today is more um more serious on the more serious note on the being real no personal yeah it's not about like just uh generic stuff. general statements of we will be talking about ourselves guys and if you read the title you already know that we'll be talking about our past and present insecurities how we got over them like what are they are like just everything about them so it'll be so more serious. you heard the deeds so girl let's get to chit chat okay girl yeah so um in this video we'll try to include pictures we don't have them like in front of us right now but um, we will try to like dig up some pictures to show y'all and everybody insecurities are different You can't really tell somebody that they can't feel um, That way about their self because it's their self and they have to get to a point where they have their own self-love and their own self-worth So you can't really tell somebody that it's not that serious or it's not that bad because you never know how they feel on the outside I mean on the inside and you should never make somebody feel uncomfortable with the way they look or Anything that makes them uncomfortable about themselves, you should just um, give them uh, nothing but, uh, Lord, why well, can't get the words out? Nothing but like encouragement, um, positive um, thinking because sometimes um, insecurities can be mental and it can really like take a toll on your mental health. And some people really need help with it and they really don't know. And a lot of insecurities that people have are they like bury them down so deep that they don't even know that that's an insecurity until you know what i mean like until like another thing like say like for instance with me i get defensive a lot like anything like people can tell me that i don't like i get defensive but i still don't know like what's the cause of why i get so defensive or like why i just like jump to you know how i get you know what mm -hmm. i mean but you know you still gotta determine and figure that out but enough about me y'all let's get started i'm gonna let anaya go first because anaya said that i talk too much so so we're gonna do the ones we got over the place the ones from the we're gonna go from past to present yes yeah, the ones we got over basically so just go one by one so just say your first one okay and then why you have it my first one that i had was my size because i'm like a little you know I don't have that much meat on my bones. And people always tell me that still to this day. And it used to kind of bother me. But not that much. But it still bothered me a little bit. But I just came to the point where I just accepted the fact that I'm just always going to look like this. I may gain weight later on so, in life. But I just accepted the fact that I look like this. And now I look my size like Would you want to be like... Why did it bother you? Like, did you want to be like bigger? Or like... Probably because people always pointed it out so much. And like, do I like, something so wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. It don't bother me now, though. Okay. But when I was little. Uh, this is so real. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> my first insecurity I'm going to tell y'all about is my acne. So, looking at me right now, y'all probably be like, girl, girl so you see pictures. Yeah. I'm kidding. No, people be God. like, uh, girl, acne. Like, people always say your skin so clear and all of that. But I not even know. Like, it took a long while for me to have skin like I have now. Anaya and my mom and, like, everybody around me always had clear skin. And I didn't. And it used to bother me so bad. I didn't like to take pictures or nothing. Like, it just, it just felt like you couldn't even see me, you know? Like, when you look at me, all you can see is the, the bumps on my face. Like, you can't even see how I really look. So, like, it was really sad when you liked it at times? Yeah, like, I didn't like to look in the mirror. I didn't like to take pictures. Like, it just used to be so bad. But it's like, I didn't when, know you was that serious to me. I'm for real. Well, yeah, it was serious because it took an emotional toll. And then you look at, like, you and mama. Like, y'all didn't have no acne like me. But it was just like a whole bunch until like one day 
my mom was like she was gonna take me to the dermatologist because I used to try everything and like and I you know I tried black soap serum I tried so much stuff to get rid of the acne and it just used to be so frustrating because you remember sometimes I have burn marks on my face from the products like it just used to be a lot and it took like a lot on me because I didn't understand why I had to go through that like why I had severe acne and like nobody else did like where did it come from you know so we we had tried everything all the products until one time the dermatologist was like he wanted to put me on this medicine and at first it was kind of like skeptical because you know what anything is risk so it was kind of he was like this your best shot like i promise you that it's gonna clear your face but it had risk like i had to do so much in order to get it and it, it was a lot but when i tell you like accutane really like changed my life like my face cleared up in like six months it was like so fast like to what it said now and you would never know that i had like severe acne and i hope that i can find like pictures so that y'all can see what i'm talking about and and if you have acne now you know I know that it's a hard time, but if it doesn't bother you or not, like embrace it. Like everybody insecurities is different. If you have acne and you don't see nothing wrong with it, don't let nobody tell you that it's ugly. Because if you love it, then who cares, you know? But for me, that was an insecurity for me. And it was a really hard time. So I'm not saying that nothing is wrong, you know, because I don't want nobody to feel like I'm saying like they ugly because they have acne. But that was just me. Like, that's just how I felt about this situation. Okay, my second one, my last one is my toes. Okay, so my toes is like this from the past. They all, this from the past still. This kind of like the past and the present because okay. when people talk about them, I'm like, Okay, so my toes, like, they all on the same line. Like, <laughs> I feel like most point. people's toes is, like, the big toe and then the little toe and then the other toe. Like, it just go down. Mm -hmm. Mine all the Let me see. You never noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff, buddy. They are, Naya. I never noticed that you have big little toes. They oh, like wow. straight and long. So people be telling you about them? I never even seen them. I've been living with you for 16 years. Girl. So they're bothering you when people say stuff about your feet? When people say something about it. Like it really hurts your feelings? No, it don't really hurt my feelings. But it's just like, why you got to come in on my feet? Well, people be talking about my, my toes go out like this. Like they got a space in between my big toe and my rest of my toes. That's normal. No, people told me like this. And I'll be like, how you have your toes that stuck together? Don't talk about my toes. I'm sorry, y'all. Off topic. So, um, my next one would be, so like in the past, y'all, I had like three things going on at one time. But I was just breaking them down. So, I was just like a wreck at this time in my life. So, the next thing I'll tell y'all about is my hair. Y'all, so... Y'all can see me and I have hair, like, I had long and stuff. And since we was little, I had always been long. And my mama do hair, so, like, that's why I always done and stuff. But once I started going through puberty and my body started changing, all of this stuff was happening at the same time. Maybe puberty was why I got the acne so bad. And, you know, maybe everybody go through puberty different. But my body started changing and my hair just started coming out, like, uncontrollably, like, just coming out like every time I comb it like hair just used to be coming out and you know because my mama knew, do hair she knew that I couldn't just keep combing because if I kept combing it it was going to all be on the floor so you just didn't comb your hair? no so that's why I got the braids and mom put my braids in a protective style like this and I used to get braids like I used to have them then I used to get them redone and stuff for a long 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 time until um one time we took them out, my mom cut my hair, and my body was done going through like the, the hair coming out part. But because like so much hair coming out, it was too thin to keep it the length it was. So I had to get my hair literally, and I remember I had to get my hair cut all the way up here, y'all. And it was like, mama, I don't want to go out like this. Like, like people go talk about me, why are you laughing? This is supposed to be a safe zone. <laughs> A safe zone. Why are you laughing? 
sorry. I was like, mama, people's gonna talk about me and stuff. And she was, she just used to tell me that I'm beautiful every day. And I just used to be looking at her like, what this hell? But <laughs> ain't nothing wrong. And like, it was just an adjustment. Like, you know, people, you can wear your hair as, like, I'm just giving it just, it's, uh, what is it called? It's flavors. You can wear your hair any kind of style, way short, long, just medium. Saying, I'm just saying, just saying for like me. Her. We always had long hair. Like, if you know my mama, if you ever see my mama, we made it. She let us into a picture right here. My mama's hair is like all the way down her back. Me and Anaya always had hair that was always down our back. Like, all our life. Like, not as long as her. Yeah, that was, well, getting there right now. Anyway, I am getting there. You're coming close. You're not even halfway. I said, I'm getting there. I didn't say I was there. Anyway, so. <clears throat> That was a big adjustment because if you going from hair like this to up here and it's like it was not up there, it was like right here. <laughs> it was not up there. It was short. I'm gonna find a picture. You I'm gonna think I'll be lying. It was right here. You it was it was by my ears. And and it was thin. And then thin and huh? Not as shit. Oh. I'm sorry. You making me laugh. You know this funny. So it was just like, I remember when I first got it cut, I remember this, that's how I know it used to bother me. I first got it cut and I had to go to school. I was late that morning. So you know when you late, you got to open the door and everybody is going to look at you. So I was standing, be your list. I was standing in the hallway by the door for about 10 minutes. I couldn't open it. I ain't up. Stop laughing up. I couldn't open the door, y'all, because it just was too painful. But like, I was just scared. And then somebody had came out the door. It's like, oh, hey, Melissa. So I'm like, I gotta go in now. And everybody looking at me, and everybody's like, you got your hair cut? And I'm like, yeah. And my mama did. She let me die to get a little color in the sun or something. So people was like, it's red. You have red hair. Your mama let you get your red hair. And I was like, yeah, you remember when I had got it the little uh, red? And I was like, yeah. And it just was a lot. I don't know what people was thinking. Nobody ever told me, girl, you, you all headed or something. You know, nobody ever said that to me. But I just used to think that in my head. And then, like, my sister, her hair feels all six. Her hair was still long. So now you can do ponytails and buns and <laughs> up and down and slide and twist around the head and everything in the world. And I can't do nothing but put a little <laughs> pull it and push it to the side <laughs> every time. And it just was a lot, y'all. And then I used, now I used to just wake up and put hair with it and put it up in the little bun and do it. And this, that's it. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do to this? <laughs> so it was just frustrating, y'all. But... After I got out of this stage, my hair grew. It grew the longest my hair ever been is when I was in ninth grade. It was a like 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 this much longer than this what it is right now. But uh, like in tenth grade, like eleventh grade, I wanted layers, so I got my hair cut. But it's growing back right now, so that's why it's, it's getting a little back longer than it is. But I always appreciate what my hair has been now because I know how it feels when your hair come out and it just starts straightening. And then I just went through it like recently. Like, like I, I cut it right now. I cut it like right here. Yeah, so I, I cut it in October. Was it an emotional journey for you? Like people go through puberty late. Like, it was cute sometimes, sometimes, but I missed my long count. Yeah. Like it wasn't exactly your situation because you, it wasn't like your cut wasn't you had to cut it like yeah. I could have, you know, kept it a little longer. Right? Yeah, she could have jazzed it up like a little yeah. bob cut. Like people was like, you have bob cut. And it make her look older. But mine was a. But that's all you what could do. do. Mine was thin, that's all you could do. And the half up, half down. Couldn't do no buns. Still can't. The back be farther back. It's growing back a little bit, though. That's, that's the good part about it. So wait, you you done with your pass? So I have one more pass. And my last pass was my teeth, y'all. So um now you a lot of stuff now you probably said lunch are serious. But um yeah, my teeth haven't always been like this. I had a gap in between my front two teeth. And my mom and 
My dad it was used to, a, it was a cute character. Everybody used to be make it a signature. signature. She was trying to decide if she wanted to keep it or not. Make it a signature. It's not that bad, you know. It could just be your signature thing. And I'm like, I don't want a signature thing. Like I just want I just want to be able to smile because the night you used to be laughing at me while all the pictures I used to be like this. Oh. Because <laughs> I never smiled. I never, never smile. laughed at your girl. I never smiled. I didn't never want to smile because it was the teeth, the hair, and the acne all at once. All at one time. This wasn't like different times in my life. This all was happening one time and it was horrible. The whole, Like horrible. It was, it was horrible. So, um, uh, after I left the orthodontist, my face was starting to clear clear up. So my mom was like, do you want braces? And I'm like, so my dad was trying to convince me. He was like, if you want braces, it's fine. You can get braces. But I think you should, that you should keep the gap. And I'm like, I told you you should keep it too. What? So my mom was like, you don't have to keep the gap if you don't want to. If you want your teeth closed, you can get your teeth closed. So I was like, I want braces. So when I first got the braces, it looked a little weird. Because, you know, when you have braces and your mouth still the same, you kind of look a little funny. But then, like, you know, when everything closed up and stuff. And I only had braces for 18 months. And when I got my braces off, I fell in love with my teeth, y'all. Like, I love my teeth. And I thought my teeth, my smile was going to be ugly because I had little teeth. Nothing wrong with little teeth, people. <laughs> but I have little teeth. And I used to be like, how am I going to look with these braces off with my little teeth? Like, I really had little teeth. But as soon as I smiled for the first time, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it is so pretty. And I love my braces. And I, I appreciate my mom, my dad, and my family for everything that they did, like, for me. During that time, million dollar smiles. Yeah, like and and I did get braces too. Not even nothing was really wrong with really braces. braces. She just wanted them. I don't really need to get them. So, but they really support us in everything that we do and anything like you know that that bother us and stuff. Like if we talk to them about it, they really can. They really make sure they do everything that, in their power that they can do for us. All right, y'all, that was the end of that video. We are going to be doing a part two to this because when we were recording, we didn't realize it was so long and we don't want y'all to be sitting here bored because it's a 30 minute video. So we're just gonna cut it into two halves. So y'all be on the lookout for the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. Get our views way, way up there. And remember, real girls are never perfect and perfect girls are never real. <laughs>